Hello everyone, here is Anson. Hello, and this is Ming. I hope you enjoyed our video we made last week. If you are not bored with us, and hopefully you're not bored with me, you are gonna do see us in the next three weeks. So let's start. Now let's first see who is the lucky one for the last week's videos. Congratulations! Our YouTube account will contact you and please keep an eye on your inbox. As many of our followers may know, we have been started this activity common to win for the third week and there are three lucky ones have won our prize. So if you want to join these activities, just leave a comment and say about your opinions on our new products and you may be the next lucky one in the, this video and we will have the lucky draw and results announced in the next week's video. Please be noted that you must submit your comments before this day uh, will be considered valid. So, what's new about this week's products? Oh, let's have a look at these three cameras modules. This is the module made for Raspberry Pi. And we all know that we have, have uh, original modules for Raspberry Pi. It's the camera modules and it has the lens on this. Yeah, sure. And so, so, what's new about these two cameras? Yeah, this two is um, for the replacement. So, you can replace this with this one and have a different um, camera experience. I see. So this one is with a 77 FOV, 77 degree FOV, compared to the original one, which has a 62.2 degree of FOV. It has a broader view of angle. I see. And whereas this one, yeah, this one is bigger, so uh, it has a bigger angle of view, and which is, I think it's 160, wow, 160 60. degree oh. FOV. So you, if you can just see the one part of you and 160, well, so wow, <laughs> if you so are. <laughs> why don't we just find out? Okay. So here we have the original Raspberry Pi camera on the Raspberry Pi mod camera module V2 here. So if we just turn it on and check. Let me try, let me try. Sure. So here's the original viewing angle. Which 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 is just similar to a normal ca normal normal camera lens. Okay. So if we just pause that and let's and one thing to be noted here, um, once the camera module is uh, cold plug, so you can plug this in before you boot it up. You can just replace the camera lens like this. And another thing to be noted here, um, the, there's a shorter side and a long, longer side of the camera lens here. We make sure the longer side goes to the longer end um, on the board, which is here. So the long end goes down to the long end like this. It seems quite easy. Yeah, sure. So if we just run the same command and we get a much wider angle. Do I have the right direction? So now we, if we look at the camera now, you can actually see see items from, from the side, which which is approximately 160 of the FOV. Okay. And one thing to add on top of that is that it has, it can, change the camera like this to make it more focused oh so let me just pause that again let's try this is the 160 fov camera so let's take that let's take that out okay put it here mm -hmm. try this and one try it with the 77 fov camera so this one the longer side is this side. And we just put it on this side, this. And we just run the same code again. So it's of 77 FOV, so I guess it's not as 
broader as the 160. One, yes. Yeah. If we have a look at look at it now. Wow, it's so small. Do I have the eye fish eye? Pretty much. Do I look good? You look good. I believe you. So and many audience may wonder uh, the detailed technique specification of the modules we are talking about. So just read this chart and you will find the uh, detailed specification of these two modules. So what do we have next? Oh, we have this Groove Thermal Imaging Camera module. And this is based on the MLX90641 module. It's with 16 by 12 IR array and have a FOV of 110 degree. Oh, I see. I know you have made a demo to show this. Why don't you show us now? Sure. So let me just connect this first. Well. And um, the wire terminal. Yep. And this is actually I square C interface, so it goes up here. So let's power this. So now I've connected the wire terminal with the thermal image camera. Oh, actually, if I go this way. Oh. So we can see there are some colors representing some of the heat. As we know, all objects can emit um, radiation as heat. And so this, this thermal imaging camera actually detects 16 by 12, which is 192 pixels of, of temperature. 192. Um, yeah, so, you are correct. So to do that, we would basically re represent these 192 pixels into colors, which also known as the um, thermogram. Yeah, thermogram. And so, you can see this thermogram has many colors and different colors represent for different temperature, right? Yeah. So if we look at a quick example here, this is a, a cup of hot water. It is represented as purple. And if we look at much cooler thing, if yeah, I am the cooler thing. In yellow, ish. If we have like a wow. and if we look, just look at some some like at the table, it's representing blue, which is about 20, 28 degrees. So yeah, and on top of this, you can actually we do. If we look at it here now, you can see a human body shape. Yeah, because it's also a wide angle, you can see a lot of stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much what this thermal cam thermal imaging camera can do. So we have promotion on our bazaar from time to time. What's the promoted product this week? Well, this week we have the Groove 12 key capacity I square C touch sensor V2. And you just go to the bazaar page and buy this product. When you add to the shopping cart, enter the coupon code keep in touch and you will get another 30% discount. With this touch module, you could make cool things like this. So if you like the module, just go to the bazaar and add to the chart. Happy time flies quickly. And it's time to say goodbye. So see you next week. See you next week.